Hi, I'm Laura Novak and I'm here to help you with your wedding photography questions. I've been getting some great questions from readers and viewers online and today I received this one. Laura, my biggest challenge with wedding photography is culling through the images in a timely manner. I want to be able to have faster turnaround time um, and my current turnaround time is six weeks with my intention to deliver them sooner. What is your average turnaround time? I'm so glad you wrote me and I'm really looking forward to helping you with this challenge. I have to be completely honest with you since you asked me the question. I do think that six to eight weeks is way too long to turn around a wedding. The norm for me pretty much throughout my whole entire career has been two weeks. Now, just to make it clear, I um, put six to eight weeks in my contract and this is just in case I have a family emergency and can't get to the photos right away or um, Hurricane Sandy comes whipping up the East Coast and takes out electricity for a week or two or more. But I typically do two weeks because my favorite thing to do for customers is to under-promise and over-deliver. Truthfully, I'm not that concerned about the six to eight week uh, time frame for, on behalf of your client because chances are they're going to be pretty happy with the photos that you took for them, which I'm sure they will be, and they'll be very excited about the, the great level of customer service that you've been providing them throughout their wedding photography. But where you lose is your opportunity to get referrals. So let me explain. What's the average time for a honeymoon? It's about two weeks, right? And what's the first thing that people ask when a bride and groom get back from their honeymoon? Oh my gosh, your wedding was so fun. Do you have any photos that you can show me? And the last thing you want them to say is, no, I don't have them yet. Or even worse, oh yeah, sure, let me show you a few that my friend took on their iPhone. So, because honestly, four or five weeks after they get back from their honeymoon, bride and groom's still excited about their wedding. They're excited about their wedding for years. But everybody else is, well, you know. So, what can you do about this? I have three tips for you. First of all, make quicker decisions. Have confidence around your work and make sure that you're editing in instead of editing out, which to me is a much more positive approach to editing. Make sure you choose your best images only and try to compare ones that look alike and just go with the best options within a series or a sequence. So, and go with your gut reaction. Don't second guess yourself because your gut reaction is typically the right one. Set a timer for yourself. So maybe an hour for to call the getting ready photos, an hour to call the ceremony, an hour to call portraits, and then maybe an hour for reception. Now take into consideration, I've been doing this for a really long time, so I have a sense of, of what works for clients and what doesn't, but it takes me about an hour to go through an entire wedding and set the images aside for raw processing. And the final tip is don't overshoot. Um, now I started with film a long time ago, and I think that probably helped because I really think about what angle and what lighting pattern is best before I hit that, that um, the trigger. So I typically take about 1,500 images and edit down to about six to 800, and I'm really keeping the best in every series. And so I really think about what's the best angle before I touch that shutter button. I hope these tips help you a lot. And with wedding photography coverage, all wedding photography coverages, I always show the very best images to the client first. And I, the way that I do that is with a sticky album for either the iPhone or the iPad. And why do I do this? First of all, because the bride and groom get so excited when they see those great handful of images first before the whole online gallery. And the second is that 94% of word of mouth actually takes place in person. Yes, can you believe it? Only 6% happens online. So if you think about it, people probably check their Facebook in the morning or in the evening, and in between those times, they're talking to friends or family or coworkers. Of course, if they're under 18, these rules don't apply, but most people under 18 aren't getting married and hiring you for wedding photography. And then finally, when people come back from their honeymoon and everybody says, oh my gosh, where are your wedding photos? Your wedding was so great. You want them to take out their phone and say, yes, I've got a preview of the very best ones right here. And then that, that your client will refer you to those friends and family members, and they will put that in the back of their head when they get engaged, they'll be sure to call you. So I hope this helps. If you love this video, please check out my site for more free education and tutorials at lauranovak.com. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.